U Televentures has tasted a lot of success with their first ever phone in the form of Eureka and they've followed it up with a lot of teasers and a lot of hype and there was a lot of leaks as well and finally the Euro Euphoria has arrived. This is GK from techpp.com and we'll be unboxing the Euphoria and also giving out our first impressions. Let's go right ahead. This is customary again, um, very uh, eco-friendly box. It's of very good quality again. It has the Euphoria branding along with the U branding and uh, that's what it is. So let's open up to see the contents of the box. So we have the Euphoria phone. Here we should have a booklet. Yeah, close. So we have a booklet and we also have a screen protector that comes along with it. Now it's just one here. So it also says special features rather than the normal manual, highlighting the key features of the OS and the hardware. Good to see a color uh, booklet here, bare minimum, but still, you know, uh, gives out some features. There is also the charging adapter, and uh, this also has the U branding on this, and also an LED that uh, that will also tell you if it's charging or not. There's also the USB cable and uh, you can also use this for charging. And good to see there's a pair of earphones as well. So in terms of the quality, well, this is, <laughs> this uh, mimics the Apple's you know, earphone design, but uh, it's of okay quality, nothing great. And uh, we'll have to test this out to see what sort of quality uh, this gives us. And we'll be doing that in our detailed review. For now, it's okay. So let's keep the things aside and uh, have a look at the phone. So the U Euphoria is going to be a five-inch uh, five-inch screen phone with uh, with pixel size of 1218 to 720 and the pixel density of uh, 294. And this comes with the Gorilla Glass protection, which is very good in this price range. And in terms of the overall aspects of the design, this is 8.25 mm in thickness and weighs 143 grams. So not so heavy, not so light, somewhere in between hits the sweet spot. And it's actually you know, feeling comfortable when I hold this. And uh, let's take a look at the overall design aspects. Um, it's got a three element design in terms of the buttons here and the volume rocker and the power buttons are integrated and uh, the tactile feedback is just okay. The power button uh, is pushed down a little lower than the volume buttons here. And uh, overall across the periphery you have the steel rim but not all across the device at the top and at the bottom there is a cut that sort of gives it an awkward feeling it abruptly cuts but uh, that's what it is and uh, on the top here you see the u logo the u uh, and uh, there's a 3.5 mm jack at the top and also the usb port here and uh, at the back now uh, we have the 8 megapixel camera with a single led flash um, just don't go by uh, you know the special look and feel of this camera. There's nothing special about it. We've seen similar design in um, Nokia Lumia 920 and the 925. It's just to give it an appealing uh, design and the look is uh, something what they've tried to do. So that is about the design. Now overall it looks a decent build quality for the price. Let's power this up and see oh, what we have. So in terms of the interiors, we have the back that can be removed. This actually is so thin, I literally get scared to open it uh, if it's gonna break. We've, uh, we've seen thin plastic bags before, but this is as thin as it can get. You know, you can literally break it if you were to bend it. So you have to be very careful with this. So this is powered by a 2230 mAh battery 
and it supports the quick charge 1.0 feature and this can charge from 0 to 40 uh, 0 to uh, 65 percent in 45 minutes that's the claim and we'll have to test it out this has the dual micro sim slots and uh, that can take in uh, 4g sim and it also has um, and the slot to add an extra memory and it can take up to 32 gigs of external memory whereas the internal internal memory is 16 gigabyte and powering this up is a snapdragon 410 processor and which is a 64-bit processor as well quad core clocking at 1.2 gigahertz and uh, accompanying it is uh, 2 gig ram and uh, in terms of the OS, this is running on a Cyanogen OS 12 and that is built off Android Lollipop and this is exclusively customized for the Euphoria and uh, this has the, the app themer support as well so that is in terms of uh, the OS. So this looks very similar to the one that we've seen on the Eureka, bright, uh, oversaturated icons and uh, we also have the theme store and uh, hopefully we should be seeing a lot of options so we'll have a look at that later we'll have to set up the Cyanogen OS uh, Cyanogen account and all that but overall um, this should perform smooth given the fact that it runs on uh, Cyanogen in terms of the camera this is supposed to be a very good camera and this is one of the only phones in this price range to support uh, slow motion uh, video capture and it can also record uh, full HD as well and the front shooter is in the form of a 5 megapixel uh, camera and one of the good things that uh, you, you has done with this Euphoria is it's brought in uh, sensors of lots you know we had the compass that was missing in the Eureka but this one will have the compass support along with um, the accelerometer and the gyroscope so that's another good thing to see and in terms of other connectivity this has the bluetooth 4.0 support and uh, the wi-fi the you know gps and so on so the display uh, it looks good you know, the colors are being rendered uh, bright and it also uh, it comes from the fact that uh, the icons are bright looks to be a highly reflective surface of course we'll have to test this out in, in the you know sunlight and see how uh, the display comes out so and it, and this is the only phone in this price range again to have the gorilla glass support and you know those are the key you know aspects of this phone so that was about the display and you can also notice one you know one thing that is different there are no capacitive buttons the buttons are moved on screen and this is very good to see because usually what used to happen was you're trying to bring down the cost of the device you just provide the buttons but then they don't have the backlit that causes inconvenience when you are using the device in, in low light or night conditions so that is very good to see here you don't have to manually go enable the on-screen navigation buttons through the software so overall um, this looks very good and what more th that is not not it this also has the Wolfson chipset that brings in um, enhanced audio support similar to the one that the Lenovo phones have in the form of the Dolby support so that is an interesting thing we'll, uh, we'll test that out as well so the price is 6999 INR which is a bang for the buck when you consider the specifications that this has if you look at the other options we have the Lenovo A6000 plus that comes at 7499 and um, we have the Redmi 2 uh, which comes at the same price 6999 but it has just 1 GB RAM and 8 GB internal memory but has a very great camera that we've seen we'll actually test the camera out here as well in comparison to the Redmi 2 and we also have um, the good old Moto E second generation and uh, they also brought in the one with the 4G variant and that costs 7999 so overall if you compare just the specs and the price and this comes out as a you know, winner or a preferred choice but uh, we'll be back with a detailed review and we'll tell you which of the phones makes more sense for the price range of 6000 7000 um, for you to pick up until next time this is gk from techpp.com signing off bye bye